<laughs> Welcome. Wait, this is gonna be our first day in the life. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. First, first day in the life. So yeah. we've been speaking about it for a while because we do so much fun stuff in terms of with cars and yeah. we don't film it like there's things we've even missed this morning that we wish we had filmed we know that there's things which happen all the time uh, scenarios where people hand these keys to their supercars being like go drive it around the block mm. things like that which we just haven't filmed we kind of figured it makes far more sense now to show you guys everything exactly. that happens exactly and everything in between like it's all it's not all sunshine and rainbows like points where you know life really pushes us to so like the limit because we are the reality of things we are on our own journeys yeah right this is for all the aspiring owners for the owners that are watching this as well like you know we're, we're still in the trenches mm. you know and mm. it, i feel like it's going to be so valuable for you guys to see exactly what we go through Absolutely. right the behind the scenes and yeah, so that you, not so that you can feel sorry for us. <laughs> <laughs> it's mostly so that you can see exactly what it takes. That's the thing yeah. is, as, as you start to head onto this path of, of building yourself up to owning, owning the supercar yourself, naturally there's going to be opportunities that pop up across the way. Just because you can't yeah. buy the Lamborghini tomorrow doesn't mean that someone who you meet along the way is going to let you test drive their one. That's oh, a fair point. Yeah. But for that exact reason, join in on the crazy stuff we get up to. Exactly. And, and enjoy, just, yeah. just see, see how we enjoy our track day today. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's gonna be exciting. I hope you guys enjoy. Absolutely. First enjoy, episode. <laughs>
if you can take the learning from this, just this experience, it's just being relentless. You know yeah. what I mean? Like yeah. it's very easy for you to say, if you don't ask, it's always a no, right? If you didn't put that note, we would have never known. You know what I mean? And yeah, slowly by slowly, with anything that you're doing, just that, you know, conscious effort and putting it out there and just pushing, being as relentless as you can be. We went supercar spotting, I guess, like about two or three weeks back. And oh, yeah. after we'd supercar spotted and spoken with a bunch of different people, we had this one last car that pulled up. And, oh. and at that point in time, I was just tired. I wanted to go home, I was dehydrated. I've just said to Andy, no, let's just go. He's like, no, like this one car. The guy's parked up the car, just left the windows down. He's like, we've got to, we've got to drop a note in there. We've got to do it. Yeah. And funnily enough, out of all the cars which we put notes on, which who, people we spoke to, this one, this one note at the end where Anthony just did it as a, hey, we're, we're leaving the end, let's just do it. Yeah. That's the one where we've had that one person reach out and they're super keen to be on the show. Right. Super keen to show yeah. us what they've done. And yeah, they're, they're deeply rooted in the, in the car world. Exactly. You know what I mean? Exactly. Like they, you can sense the passion mm. in them. And one thing, so, so good that you brought that up because a key principle that if you're seeing this and you know me before, you know that I use the term maximizer, mm. right? And they, that's the whole point of being a maximizer where mm. you put in a situation and you're presented with an opportunity and you want to extract the most you can from that opportunity. To take it back to Dr. Shimento's favorite, favorite Very point. good, yeah, you say it. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, oh, I'm going to butcher it now. <laughs> if you're watching this. But he basically said something on the lines of if you're given given essentially one orange one orange yes you you need to extract enough orange juice out of that to make two liters worth of orange juice exactly that's the type of maximizing which we're going for exactly yes. if you see something that is basically no stone is left unturned right that was purely it we had so many supercars we had interacted with so many owners but seeing that last one and being like oh no let's just go you're not a maximizer you're not a maximizer. In fact, you're wasting the opportunity. That's the thing. It took yeah. that one situation for me to witness that. That it doesn't mean that all of a sudden now I, I get into a situation where I'm like, hey, I'm done. I'm tired. I want to go home. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean that I don't get those thoughts still. It just means that now when I get that thought, I purposely override and just go, exactly. let's just push forward. Let's actually go and do that extra, that extra 1%, that extra 5% that most people would just walk away from. 100%. And that's, that, that's a key takeaway. And that is the part where I think that last bit is typically what makes the difference between the one percenters and the 99 percent. Wow, we're driving a Ferrari. Exactly. It just looks like a nice place to be. What are we in at the moment? <laughs> Mate, 48 GTB. Woo! Man. What? And the best part about it, look at that. Like, Formula One style steering wheel, bro. Look at that. Okay, let's go for a spin. I don't think I've actually said it. First ever supercar I've ever driven. Whoa. First supercar I've driven. I've sat in a whole bunch of them, ridden passenger, but never actually driven one. How so, does it feel? Man, it feels great. No, you have to buy one. Bro, I have to buy one. <laughs> this. This is the whole point. This Aspiring is owner. To own up. Exactly, bro. It starts it's experiences with, like this. Yeah, it starts to use like riding passenger in someone's car to then being like, hey, go give it a go, like drive it. And honestly, to the owners that actually, you know, encourage that, you know, exactly. like go out there and experience for their love of cars, like that's incredible. Honestly, I've been driven a car this incredible ever. Here we go. Jeez. This is incredible. This is incredible. Bro, my concentration face every time. 
time I shift gears, it's the funniest thing, but... <laughs> I can imagine, jeez. Bro, that was next level. <laughs> <laughs> love that. Bro. Absolutely love that. But yeah, Bro. this has been from my eyes to yours. Yeah, tell us a bit about the spec that you've gone for on this. Yeah, this car, I'm very interested in this car because this is the uh, most powerful one mm. in, in AMG range. Yep. So this, this one got 639 horsepower. Yep. Uh, I had quite a few AMG before, I had a 260, C63 yep. AMG, mm -hmm. um, a sedan um, and also a coupe, both in addition one. I had a G63 about a year ago, the, the latest one. Yep. So, um, I also test drive the TS yep. and also GTR before, yep. but because they're coupe and compared to other supercars, it's not it's, it's fast, it's expected fast. But this one is really really surprised me because you know it's a huge car, so much weight, and I uh, never had any car with rear wheel steering before. But this, yeah, exactly. Yeah. This is something that I never tried before. Yeah. Um, because when I look into the real world steering, um, there are not many choices in the market. Mm -hmm. There's Hurricane Evo, but I have a Hurricane. Mm -hmm. So when I test drive, drive, drove this car, I got really surprised because the handle is very good. Mm -hmm. It's very steady. Uh, when you're entering the corner and uh, in and out, it just holds you really tight. Yeah. So, and the, because the car is so so heavy yeah. and you, you feel like you're sticking to the ground <laughs> yeah and also because of the rear wheel steering the the when you're turning you feel the cars are sh way shorter than you you expected and um interior is crazy if you if you have a look at the interior this is what i mean so many people that they, they, they think that people who own these type of cars that they're scary to approach and that they're rude they're this or that believe me they're easily the nicest group i've come across within the car community so so uh if you ever see one of these cars on the road or in, parked up somewhere, feel free to go up and have a chat with the owner. Ask them what they did to be able to uh, to be able to afford one of these, so that you yourself can find out how to become an owner. Or if you're too nervous to do that, tune into Formiz and learn how learn how they did it. <laughs>
I want them to watch from us and see how we're actually interacting to these people with the real stories, right? And it's that element of relatability to mm. a certain extent that shows some of that is possible. You know, we've we've heard some 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 interesting stories today. Like people who left school when they were 14 and started a business and they've been working on that business up until now and now they've got the car mm. they've got all the nice things you know yes it's it's around passions it's mm. around materialistic possessions but um the for my philosophy states it's from my eyes to yours and it's more than just you know the car mm. so yeah we want to we want to portray that in the best way possible and this has been fantastic like literally your first vlog exactly first vlog <laughs> out the way and, and that's the thing is um as, as we already hinted on our Instagram post earlier earlier today slash earlier this week, whenever you're watching this, is that we have some things that we've been planning, hence why we've been a little bit quiet since the Dr. Shimanto interview. Exactly. Man, you guys aren't even ready. You aren't know. even ready. It's gonna be incredible. So let's do this, bro. So we looking for it. <laughs> I'm excited to see you. <laughs> exactly, exactly. It's gonna be great. Yeah, we'll see you guys later.